Okay, now I got your attention. Okay, today I'm uh, both challenged and uh, both excited. Uh, challenged because I know there's a lot of uh, both platforms out there and a lot of cool things out there. But my excitement lies in the fact that today I get to give back and I get to announce something um, very cool that we got going on at Wire. Uh, my name is Helena, I work at Wire, and my colleague Dan is also presenting with me. Okay, uh, so throughout the years you notice that a lot of new tech emerges and there's always like this one thing that keeps on repeating like a pattern. And whether it's internet or smartphones or VR, there's this area that um, doesn't get addressed and doesn't, keeps on being ignored, which is uh, privacy. Uh, but first I want to know how many of you are what the yeah. okay. Um, okay, and how many of you have ever used a bot that handled some kind of sensitive data that you consider to be private? Okay, uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, so I want to introduce you to Wire. Wire is a fully entered encrypted app based in Berlin, as you can see. Uh, this is our office, this is only the half of our office. You can see the other half later if you go on a tour with us. Uh, Wire is an app that's not only fun, but it's also productive. It has a lot of features that you can use on a daily basis, like screen sharing, video calls, uh, group stereo calls, uh, location sharing, file transfers, but it has a lot of fun features, like uniquely embedded GIFs and sending uh, funny audio messages to, uh, with filters to your friends. It has um, sketches and emoji on the images, so everything you see in any other messaging app, but even more. Into more more serious matters, which is privacy. Uh, wired servers are located in the European Union, so there's no way any user data is shared or sold to any third parties. Wire is uh, fully end-to-end -end encrypted. Uh, there's no backdoors to wire, and there's also no middleman attack because of fingerprint comparison. And this is the part you might like a lot. Wire's app and encryption protocol are open sourced, and uh, you can find all the code on GitHub. It was reviewed by uh, security experts and users on a daily basis. And just if you go on uh, github.com slash wire app, you can find it all there. So earlier I asked you if you ever tried out a bot that handled some kind of sensitive data. So um, we can see that this technology is on a rise and everyone's jumping on this train and many businesses are joining from retail and sales and marketing and uh, customer service. But um, as many organizations join, um, they actually have to take a step back and take a moment to consider the security implications because once you deploy a chatbot on a bot platform, all of its security capabilities lie at the mercy of the Bot platform. So if you use a public um, bot pla uh, platform, public channel, and you deploy your bot there, uh, the provider sees the data, but the bot platform might also see da your data. So if, for example, you're using a banking chatbot, and you, I don't know, you check your salary on a monthly basis, the bot platform might take that data and sell it to advertisers, and then you might get ads based on your salary. It's pretty creepy stuff. And this is where Wire comes in. So Wire covers all of these privacy and security needs. Wire is a bot platform that does not sell or share or, or any of the data. So you have the banking app and you trust the bank, but you also trust Wire to not share your data. And this is why Wire's uh, sports integrations in the future will aim at sectors like banking, internet of things, healthcare, education, and many others. So also a few weeks ago, we had this fun event, we went to Deutsche Bank Hackathon and we built a secure chatbot that could check your balance and you had voice recognition and also it tracked and um, basically categorized a lot of expenses that are unknown like cash payments and all kinds of uh, options there. And we had a lot of fun there. Uh, we're going to continue working with Deutsche Bank, so this is like our first really successful use case, business use case that uh, we noticed. And um, yeah, we now, since we're not a bot company, but we did try first hand building this bot and some other bots that we have, like uh, Chef Bot and Food Bots. Um, but we want to also invite other developers soon to join us and to help us build bots. And um, I hope you enjoyed this part. Now I would like to announce my colleague Dan, who's going to show you a bit of the technical part. Thank you. Um, I hope you guys are excited with this uh, with this talk that uh, Helen had. Um, 
I'd like to go now a bit more into technical details just to show like uh, what we have done so far, what we have in We can just uh, quickly implement the Java SDK just to demonstrate uh, how to use it. And uh, we put a simple uh, HelloBot application that we just you know, allow it to get going, just to get the grasp on it. So if you go to uh, GitHub, uh, wire up HelloBot, here it is. This is the repository. Once you, once you go there and you clone this, you will find uh, some simple steps that you need to do. We show that uh, also you have the, the wiki there, which you can uh, check the documentation. It's on, the, on this side. Um, that shows you a bit more about the rest of the, the Vault API. If you want to go more into details, you get familiar with it. Once you once you clone this repository, you would uh, go to your favorite ID, I use IntelliJ, and uh, there you would find uh, classes like simple config class if you need to if you need to specify a port name or profile picture, asset, asset color, things like that. Uh, still, one of the are just a simple uh, uh, main class where you basically initiate the objects that you need. And here I would like to show the message handler class, which is actually the main uh, logical unit here. And this method um, on message will be called each time somebody posts something into a conversation where your bot is one of the participants. As you can see, like it's, it's very simple, it's very logging, and uh, the main part is, is here. Uh, the, the method accepts the client object and the message object, and important to say here that uh, the message, <coughs> message object that is here, it's, it's already decrypted, and it has all the content there ready to, uh, to be consumed. So if the, if the user posted a picture, it will be, or the key of that picture will be there, so you will be able to download it. If the text is there, it will be decrypted already. So our echo, echo bot would just take that content, and it would reply into that conversation. So once you execute this uh, call, the, the echo will be then placed into that conversation so the other users can, uh, can see it. Similar, similar logic for the, for the pictures. Here, for example, if you have a picture, somebody posted, you can uh, download the picture. This is already decrypted and uh, you can post it back. Once you post it, the, the SDK will take uh, the head lifting that it will perform the, you know, perform the encryption and it will send to all the devices, to all the users in that conversation. Okay, that's that's basically that's it. That's the that's the whole bot. Uh, you would build this code uh, and you would deploy that to your uh, to your server where you have the <coughs> public IP and then where you're gonna have your, your bot running and listening to to talk. Uh, one thing is missing here, of course, uh, you have to go somehow, you have to go to wire back and register yourself as a, as a bot developer and you have to register your bot. That bot has to get a name and an ID and all this, all this stuff. Uh, we thought it would be cool to create another bot that would help you set up your bot. Uh, so, so we have the bot called that bot, have it here already already connected to it, you can uh, start talking to it, you have to register yourself. Once you're done with that, you can start maybe uh, try to create your first bot. So let's try to, to create our bot. So this is the time that we are creating our first bot, first time. And uh, the bot is asking us, uh, what should we call this bot? That should be, you can put some catchy name. I don't know. Magic for life, let's call it uh, tech. Oh, it's not catchy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. You're gonna put something catchy. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have to specify the, the, the end public endpoint. Uh, this will be the endpoint when the where the wire backend will be calling every time something happens in the conversation. 
every time somebody adds this bot, your bot, to a conversation, that endpoint will be called and you will get some information that will help you set up everything and prepare yourself for interacting. So I already have some endpoint there. So I'd say, yes, uh, you know, my bots dot com slash something like that. Whatever you want. Yeah. Okay, some question. Uh, I love bots. Okay. Yeah. So that's the I think last step. So uh, why it requires a certificate pinning. So either you already have some certificate for your website, or uh, if you don't, you can uh, you can also uh, as a part of the, the big process. The, the Hello Bot would create a self-signed certificate for you, and uh, yeah, you can use that for now. So I have it. I have it here somewhere. So, yeah, yeah. So it wants you to send to the public key, not the private. The public, not the public. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back. So let's give you this. Okay. Perfect. So set to the public key. And created our first bot. The bot is already registered with the backend. Everything is hopefully uh, set up there and fine. Uh, we got the, that big thing there, which you see, that's an authentication token, and that's a, that's a token which is kind of like additional security. Uh, wire backend will be sending that big chunk there uh, as in an HTTP header every time it. To close your endpoint, so you should remember that. I mean, your config file should remember that, and you should always verify that actually that we are on the same page. That it's not that somebody else is calling your endpoint and maybe is trying to. <coughs> so you would take this, and go back to your uh, to your uh, not here, but here. And in your config, you would, you would put it there, save it, and uh, basically, you're, after setting that, you can take a look at the config. I mean, it's, it's very simple. You are ready to, to deploy your, uh, your code to, uh, to your server. You would go back to your favorite bot here, and you would say, enable, enable bot, call it tech talk. Okay, and basically that's it. At that moment, your bot is alive. I already have my bot deployed, so opening the wire up again, and that's it. It's told us hello, and I'm like writing something and put back. So uh, yeah, this was the demo and the presentation. This is really initial version of the bot API. We will have uh, so many more things coming, like the bot website where you can register not only through the bot, but also other places and a lot of things in the UI that we're preparing for beginning of next year. But if you're interested in knowing more or even developing your bot like in the early alpha phase, then you can go to developer.wire.com and just leave your email, select your preferred SDK, and we'll get in touch with you. Thank you.